Experts are meeting in Bangkok this weekend to make progress on what will be the first international treaty to tackle the surging problem of plastic pollution. This comes ahead of a final round of negotiations with South Korea in November. However, not as all positive. Many parties who have been closely tracking negotiations, which include environmentalists, tribal leaders, frontline community members, say that they have been shut out of the talks in Bangkok. Many plastic industry representatives say they cannot get in the room either. So when the first uh, suggestion of how you could participate or register for the meeting emerged, we saw an immediate problem because it became very exclusive and they said as many governments can register as they wish, um, but there will be no NGO participants um, ex unless they were invited. In a series of letters to the United Nations Environment Program, hundreds of civil society organizations said that the action runs counter to the way international environment treaties are usually made. They said organizers have responsibility to uphold the principles of transparency, access to information and public participation. In the first four meetings of the UN Intergovernmental Negotiating Committee on Plastic Pollution, countries spent a lot of time debating rules and procedure, including the system of voting on decisions. Over the past three years, the global community has come together with the mission to end plastic pollution. Um, we're now entering uh, the fifth and to be final negotiation in 2024. Uh, and we're looking at how the treaty is to develop new controls to address uh, plastic production use and disposal throughout the life cycle of in 2022, most of the world's nations agreed to make the first legally binding treaty on plastics pollution. The, the goal was to complete negotiations by the end of 2024. Thousands of environmentalists, plastic industry representatives, scientists, tribal leaders, waste pickers and other concerned about plastic pollution have traveled as observers to four continents to share their views at the treaty talks. At such a critical stage in the process, if there are not enough people in the room in Bangkok who want a meaningful treaty, it could set the stage for a weaker document. So these global treaty negotiations are really critical right now because um, in the end, you're looking at tripling production of plastics. And if we do not do a good job now to have a meaningful agreement, you're really kicking the can down the road for the next generation to deal with it, as we're seeing in climate change. That's not fair. And the problem is, again, more production means more pollution. And if we do not address the production, we're just going to flood the planet with plastics and really harm the future generations.